This is my hydraulic machine that I did for a grade 8 science project. Um, so the fluid in this syringe, the yellow syringe, when I apply the pressure to it, it transfers over to this syringe and it allows for it to open and close the claw or mouth. And in the green syringe, I apply the same pressure, except this time when I suck in, it um, I'm sucking in all the fluids so that it'll make the claw go down and it can pick up a golf ball or any light object. So here it is in action. I can lower it, pick it up, close the claw down on it, and then bring it back up. And it's a hydraulic system. I don't know if I mentioned that. Or... And that was easy. Drop the golf ball onto the easy button. Uh, I'll do it again, just so you can get the gist of it, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna open the claw again, and all I'm doing with the syringes is either pushing in or sucking out, and it's allowing for this thing to either push the claw out or suck it back in using the fluids. So I'll push it back out and I will bring it back down. And I close the claw. It's actually pretty smooth. And bring it back up. And that was easy. So yeah. What did you make it with? I made it with popsicle sticks, um, wood, um, like planks, I guess, tubing, syringes. I made a little housing unit for the syringes out of Lego. And I have a golf ball, some clay to rest the golf ball on, um, a cup, and an easy button, staples easy button. And I just made this so that when I present it for the class, they won't know that there's an easy button there. They'll think it's just dropping into a, a cup, and it'll go. Well, that was easy. And a lot of glue. And I used twist ties to tie down the tubing to the wood, and toothpicks to allow so that it could move and not just stay in one place. I have a toothpick there and a toothpick there so that when I, the toothpicks will move with the syringe and the force. So, yeah. And they're two distinct colors so you know which one's moving and which one's not. There you go.